Being distracted is becoming the norm in this modern world. Are the constant notifications preventing you from obtaining deep focus when studying for the FE? In fact, is YouTube distracting you right now from doing what you're supposed to be doing? If you're supposed to be doing something else, then close this tab and go do it and you can come back and watch this video later. Now go. Now distractions slowly build over time and if you're not aware how and where distractions occur, they can quickly derail your plans. So in this video, I'm going to share with you guys how to overcome distractions. Oh yeah, First, let's talk about how distractions can impact our productivity. So a study from the University of California, Irvine suggests that after being distracted, it takes an average of 23 minutes and 15 seconds to return to a task. This means that each interruption, no matter how brief, costs us almost half an hour in lost productivity and focus. And over time, this cumulative effect can result in a significant loss of study time. There's also this common belief that we can multitask. And the thing is, our brains are not designed to handle multiple tasks at once. Now, when we are multitasking, we just switching rapidly between tasks and this constant switching not only drains our energy but also reduces our comprehension and retention of information which can also lead to mistakes oversight and superficial understanding now there are three different types of distractions and i'm going to share with you guys how to avoid them type number one digital distractions now, social media notifications and instant messaging are designed to capture and keep our attention. Notifications especially, they create this sense of urgency, diverting our focus from our studies. So before you start studying, make sure to turn off non-essential notifications, or you can also leave your device or your phone in another room to eliminate temptation. Now, if you are studying online, make sure that all your tabs are closed, except the ones that you are using to study for your FE exam. You can also use apps or websites like Cold Turkey. These tools can be set to block access to certain apps or websites for specified durations, promoting and interrupted study sessions. You can also designate specific check-in times for social media and email. So for instance, only check social media during your schedule breaks to prevent constant interruptions. Now, if you guys want to learn more about digital distractions or just how distractions really affect our focus, our concentration and our productivity, I recommend checking out Cal Newport work and Dr. Huberman. They both offer great insights on these topics. Now, moving on to type number two, environmental distractions. Your environment plays a critical role in your ability to concentrate. A noisy environment can continuously interrupt your flow state, making it hard to dive deep into the concepts. Find a quiet, dedicated study spot. A clean and organized environment can reduce cognitive load, allowing your brain to entirely focus on the task at hand. You can also consider noise cancelling headphones or listen to white noise and ambient sounds. These can drown out disruptive noises and even enhance concentration. And the last thing is make sure that your study space is ergonomic and comfortable. Invest in a good chair and a desk. A comfortable space reduces physical distractions and prevents fatigue. Type number three, internal and emotional distractions. Sometimes our very own body and mind can be the biggest sources of distractions. Hunger, tiredness, fatigue, stress, all of these can affect our ability to process and retain information. Now, hunger and tiredness usually are easily solved by just having a regular eating schedule and getting enough sleep. And you can also help yourself avoid studying fatigue by using methods like the Pomodoro method, where you can study for 25 minutes and then take five minutes break. These breaks can help prevent fatigue and boost retention. While everyone handles stress differently, some common methods for managing stress include meditation practices, exercise, and hobbies. Now, exercise especially is great as it keeps your body and mind sharp. Now, if you guys want to learn how to regain your focus so you can study for the FE exam, make sure to check out this video here. And if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And thank you guys for joining me. Thank you for watching this. And I hope you have a great productive week. And I will see you guys on the next video. A la prochaine.